2019 has put a different twist on our 2021 Scout Anniversary Week and Scout Sunday services. Instead of attending selected Sunday services and taking part in the church's activities, we are recording our version of a true religious service and offer it to various churches within our community. We thank you for watching as True Point 77 Washburn takes part in the 111th Scout Anniversary Celebration. Telegard, present the colors. my best to do my duty to God. It is hard to describe duty to God for any one person. This duty is based on a person's own religious teachings. Duty to God is different for people of different faiths. However, for all people, it means living according to the teachings of their religion. Membership in the Boy Scouts of America explicitly requires recognition of the supreme being, belief in God, and respect for other Scouts and Scouters' belief in God is an expectation that has been repeatedly affirmed by the National Council of the DSA. Whether the sponsor of a scouting unit is secular or religious, duty to God is a basic tenet of our movement. We express it each time we recite the Scout Oath and Scout Law. We invite all scouts and scouters attending this interreligious service to join in prayer in a way that we hope all will find comfortable. Let us express our thanks for the many blessings that God has given us and ask for the wisdom and skills to carry out and enhance the scouting program. We hope that this observance will be a positive experience that will help you encourage appropriate religious observances within the World Brotherhood of Scouting. I would ask Trey to come forward for the call to worship. Oh, oh great spirit, watch over us as we begin this day. Protect us as we live in your care. Give us bounty and hold us from harm. We are your children and wish only to please you. We hold our Mother Earth close to our hearts and wish her goodness. We thank you for your love. And at this time, I'd ask Patrick to come forward for the responsive reading. In response to my reading, you will say, Blessed are the Scouts. Blessed are the Scouts who are taught to see beauty in all things around them, where their world will be a place of grace and wonder. Blessed, Blessed are the Scouts. Blessed are the Scouts who are led with patience and understanding, for they will learn the strength of endurance and the gift of tolerance. Blessed are the Scouts. Blessed are the Scouts who have a home where family members live together in love, for they shall become the peacemakers of the world. Blessed are the scouts. Blessed are the scouts who are taught the value of power of truth. For they shall use what they learn to help others. Blessed are the scouts. Blessed are the scouts who are guided by those with faith in a loving God. For they will find God early and will walk with God through life. Blessed are the scouts. Give us clean hands, clean words, and clean thoughts, O oh God. Teach us to work hard and to play fairly. Forgive us when we are unkind and help us to help others. Send us strength to do a good turn each day and so to live after thy will. Amen. And if Jack would come forward for the worship message. In doing your duty to God, always be grateful to Him, and it is a good thing to bless other people. In doing your du duty toward men, be helpful and generous, and always be grateful for any kindness done to you, and be careful to show that you are grateful. 
Remember again that a present given to you is not yours until you have thanked the giver for it. While you are being a, living your life on this earth, try to do something good which may remain after you. It is something to be good, but it is far better to do good. First, love and serve God. Second, love and serve your neighbor. Lord, Robert, faith and power. And now I would ask Damien to come up and do the inspirational message. While walking into a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green, said nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one just knows why. We are a box of crayons that do not get along said Blue to all the others, and something here is wrong. Well, I brought that box of crayons and took it home with me, and laid out all the colors so the crayons all could see. They watched me as they colored with red and blue and green, and black and white and orange and every color in between. They watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky. The yellow sun was shining bright as white clouds drifted by. Colors changing as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored, they watched what I was through. And when I finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crayon box had something more to say. I do like red, said yellow, and green said so do I. And blue, you were terrific, so high up in the sky. We are a box of crayons, each one of us you need. But when we get together, the picture is complete. We can all learn a lot from crayons. Some are new, some are lovingly used, some are sharpened, some are broken. Some are bright, some have strange names. All different colors, all fitting perfectly together in the same crayon box. And if I could have Isaiah come forward for the benediction. And now in your journey in scouting, may the trail rise up to meet your stride. May the sun shine softly on your backpack. May the cool, clean waters carry your canoe safely to your next portage. May the wind bring warm blessings to your encampment. May our scouts find a fine example in our adult leadership of the adult they hope to be. Peace be with you this day and forevermore. Amen. And now for the Scoutmaster's benediction. And now, may the great Scoutmaster of all Scouts be with us until we meet again. Amen. And I would ask the color guard to be dismissed and all rise and Scout salute.